These days you have a wide choice of mobile devices you can take with you to check your email, bug your friends on Facebook, take funny pictures, watch video, and stream music. Unfortunately though, we've also been in an era where the days of unlimited data are just gone. So we're going to talk to you today about some ways you can check your mobile data usage so you don't get charged after yin yang or have your carriers slow down your data to like a very tiny crawl. The four major carriers all have ways for you to check your data usage. And there's easy ways and there's more involved ways. So let's start with the easy way. Uh, with AT&T, uh, you pick up your phone and you go dial star data pound. And you'll go through and you'll get this little robot voice and the robot will tell you she's gonna send you a text. And that text will tell you how many texts you've sent and how much data you've used. Uh, with Verizon, it's a little different. You press star data and uh, you will also get a text in just a couple minutes telling you how much data you've used. Uh, Sprint is star four, and then you'll get a menu, and you need to press four again, and you'll also get uh, an update there uh, via text. Uh, with T-Mobile, uh, you can't actually dial a number, um, but we're gonna go through some other ways that you can, uh, you can check this. All right, so if you've got one of those Apple devices, you can go and download a couple apps from the App Store. Uh, so for instance, there's the official AT&T one, uh, which you can download for free, uh, but it tends to be buggy and crashes a little bit. Uh, if you don't mind spending a couple of dollars, you can go for a better version called Data Man, uh, which is fun because it also can send you some alerts so you can tell it to warn you when you start getting close. Uh, there's also a Verizon one if you have the iPhone on Verizon. Now, if you're on Android, uh, you also have some other choices. You can go and get the My Verizon, the My AT&T, or the My T-Mobile apps, and those will also tell you how much data you've used, and, and that's easier than uh, you know, dialing the little numbers. There are some tools out there that can actually help you reduce the amount of data you're using without you actually having to change what you do on your device. Um, one of these is called Onavo, which is a free app for the iPhone or the iPad. And you install it on your, on your device and it compresses the data that's being sent to and from your, your device so that you reduce the amount of data that's actually being sent. Um, that can help keep you under your limit. Unfortunately, however, right now it doesn't compress video, which is actually the biggest user of data on your device. The other tool uh, which you can use both on iOS and on Android uh, is the Opera Mini Browser. And Opera does much the same thing that Onavo does where it compresses the data that's being sent to and from uh, your device. So when you're looking at web pages, they shrink down the images so you're not loading big images. So how much data you get depends on which carrier you have and what plan you have. Um, but a lot of them these days are close to two gigabytes. So for a lot of people, they don't actually even know what two gigabytes means in terms of bandwidth. On a mobile phone, if you're watching video, that gets you about 10 to 13 hours of video. Uh, in terms of emails, it'll get you more emails than you can count. Text messages, you could text message without stopping for the entire month and you'd never go over two gigabytes. So you, the thing to watch here, watch how much video you're using and watch how much radio you're streaming. 